Captain Sarah and I'm one of the core officers at City Salvos doing this little weekly update as to what we learned on Sunday, how can we be applying that during the week and leading into this coming Sunday we were celebrating and together. And I'm sitting here with one of my houseplants. Uh, as you can see, it is not in the best of condition. I am by no means a very good gardener. Neither of my thumbs are green and I do my best, but too often they look like this. Luckily, I have people in my life who believe that this is salvageable and are going to help me to get the right conditions for this lovely plant to be restored back to what it was. We shared on Sunday about a passage in the Bible which gives us hope that even though I'm not a great gardener, our Heavenly Father is. Because he has this beautiful illustration in John chapter 15 about vines, about branches, about fruit, and about that whole, all the fruit happens because we're remaining connected. We're remaining to, connected to the source that gives us all the nutrients, all the life, all the, the things that we need in order to thrive. And uh, it's a really lovely passage because it, it illustrates that fruit will naturally come when all the other conditions for the plant uh, are sorted and are healthy. This one, not so much. I don't know if that'll be a fruit anytime soon. But a healthy plant, a healthy plant that is in good soil, that is well fed, that is nurtured and cared. And as this passage says, it is necessary for a gardener to prune and to adjust and to make those cuts as needed in order for the best fruit to come. The gardener knows what they're doing and we need to trust that. Then we need to know that if he needs to make a trim somewhere, that is for the benefit of fruit somewhere else. And if something's not producing, this passage says that he will cut it off and remove it completely. So it was a really interesting passage to explore as a church as we're ending our series on becoming disciple makers because it reminds us that as we are called, as the Great Commission says, to go into the world and to preach the gospel and make disciples, we are called to go into the world and bear fruit. Uh, often a lot of us get really nervous when we're told that we have to go and evangelize or share our faith or talk to our friends and families about what we believe and really put the challenge out to them that they, they could too be following Jesus and find the answers that they're looking for. Often that makes us really anxious. So when we consider the illustration here in John 15 about how fruit naturally comes from a healthy tree, we can really take comfort in knowing that if we remain connected to Jesus, as this passage says, if we remain strong in him, grafted on as one of his children, if we remain connected to the source that will give us all the nutrients we need as do we grow, as we remain connected through scripture, through prayer, through glorifying him, through um, and love, relationships of love and integrity with others that are growing us spiritually, that fruit will naturally come from that, that the gospel opportunities to share will naturally come from that. If we are growing in those areas, then questions will be asked and our fear will, will fade. Our boldness will grow as we are living out what we believe and as we grow through that. And I think that's a really beautiful analogy for us at City Salvos to draw all we need from him and really just reflect him in all that we do. And then questions will be asked and opportunities will arise for us to share just naturally. Um, and I think it's really encouraging. And I, I think it's beautiful because the whole point of fruit is that it creates seeds for more fruit to grow. We are here and we are saved. We are called to bring that same love and hope and future possibilities to others as well. So City Salvos, that's our mission. Sink deep into who Christ is in us. Draw what we need from him in all that we go through so that we can glorify him because it is to his glory that his children bear fruit. So this Sunday, we'll see you all again. It's Father's Day, which is quite exciting. And we've got a guest speaker coming and we're really going to encourage the blokes in our lives as they are continuing to seek him in all they do in a very bloke type way. It'll be a great Sunday and there's a special treat in there for all the men in your life, so bring them along. Uh, but until then, I pray that you've had a great week of just sinking deep into him and growing and I really look forward to seeing you again. Bless you, actually.